Okay, for today's video, ang pag-uusapan naman natin ay retirement of uh, treasury shares. So, retirement of treasury shares tayo. So, ano ba yung nangyayari kapag retirement of treasury shares? So, para mas maintindihan lang natin itong topic na to, no? O, dapat alam nyo muna yung ibig sabihin mismo nung nangyayari or yung um, nagaganap kapag retirement of um, treasury shares. So, gamitin ulit natin yung example natin, no? We're in ginamit natin si Jollibee Foods Corporation. So, konting recap ulit tayo, no? Ng treasury shares. Para mas ma-appreciate nyo, no? Itong topic about retirement of treasury shares. So, ano ba yung nangyayari kapag may treasury shares transaction, no? So, Jollibee Foods Corporation. Example, yan, no? So, Jollibee Foods Corporation nag-issue ng shares of stock, no? Doon sa investor. Then, yung investor na yon magiging uh, shareholder na, no? Ayan. So, shareholder. Ayan. Nag-issue siya ng shares of stock doon sa um, investor. Then, yung investor na yon no? Naging shareholder na siya ng um, Jollibee Foods Corporation. Yan yung point wherein si Jollibee, Jollibee Foods Corporation ay magre-record ng um, debit cash, credit, ordinary shares, credit share premium. Yan. So, issuance of shares of stock, no? Ni Jollibee Foods Corporation. Tapos, no, treasury shares. So, ibig sabihin, itong in-issue na shares ni Jollibee Foods Corporation kay shareholder ay uh, babayback niya, no? Kumbaga, i-re-repurchase niya or i -re acquire So, si shareholder Ibabalik niya yung shares of stock kay Jollibee Foods Corporation, no? Then, si Jollibee Foods Corporation, babayaran si shareholder, no? Ng cash. Kung baga nagpalitan, si shareholder, binalik niya yung shares of stock kay JFC. Then, si JFC, yun nga, no? Ni repurchase, so binigyan ng pera, no? Binayaran si shareholder. So, yan yung point na magre-record si Jollibee Foods Corporation ng debit treasury shares, credit, cash. No? So, ayan. Na kay JFC na ulit yung shares of stock. Treasury shares. So, na kay JFC na no, yung shares of stock. Ang pwede kasing gawin ni JFC dun sa treasury shares, pwede niya ulit yan, no? i-reissue kumbaga sa shareholders no ayan yun yung topic natin nung nakaraan no yung reissue once of um treasury shares so nandito yung link no, no? kung gusto niyo i-recall yung um reissue once of treasury shares nandito yung um link ng video so panoorin niyo na lang eh ang topic natin ngayon retirement no of treasury shares. So di ba yung treasury shares pwede yang i-reissue ni corporation sa mga shareholder no? I-reissue ulit. Now kapag retirement, ibig sabihin hindi niya na i-reissue no yung shares of stock. Kumbaga i-retire niya na no? Ika-cancel niya na yung treasury shares. So meaning ika-cancel na yung treasury shares, hindi niya na yon pwedeng i-reissue pa no sa shareholders. Yan. Hindi na magiging available, kumbaga, yung treasury shares na yon sa mga shareholders. No? Once na ito ay niretire na ni Jollibee Foods Corporation. Yan yung pag-uusapan natin. No? Retirement of treasury shares. If treasury shares are subsequently retired, the share capital account is debited at par value or stated value and the treasury shares account is credited at cost no ayan retirement results in a gain so most of the time no most of the time eh magkaiba yung par value ng shares of stock compared dun sa cost ng uh, treasury shares so kapag yung retirement results in a gain meaning the par value exceeds no the cost of treasury shares such gain is credited as share premium from treasury shares 
So, hindi naman siya ganun ka komplikado, no? Kasi, kumbaga, once na merong gain, no? May gain daw sa retirement, eh, simply credit lang natin yung gain na yon sa share premium from treasury shares. Ang medyo may konting, um, kumbaga, medyo complicated lang ng konti, no? Kapag yung retirement results in a loss. Meaning, the cost of treasury shares exceeds no the par value such loss is debited to the following order of priority so may order of priority no? so yung amount ng loss una i-debit natin sa share premium from original issue ones no tapos may may special note pa dito no ang amount cancelled on a pro rata basis no in the absence of of specific amount identified with treasury shares. So, mamaya natin yan i-elaborate, no? Once na nasa problem solving na tayo. Um, letter B, share premium from treasury shares. Tapos, C is retained earnings. So, order of priority. Mauuna si share premium from original issue ones. Next, si share premium from treasury shares. Tapos, pag ubus na yung A at B, then retained earnings. Now, to illustrate, no, yung retirement of treasury shares, so, meron tayo ditong um, illustration. Seen here, yung company reported the following shareholders' equity. So, we have ordinary share capital, 50,000 shares, at 100 peso per hour, that is 5 million. Tapos, share premium, 200,000. Retained earnings, 2 million. So, class, no, pag mga ganito yung given na share premium, no, di ba meron tayong share premium ordinary, share premium treasury so kapag ganito lang yung given ng problem no kapag um, ganito lang yung given ng assumption diyan share premium ordinary shares 200,000 subsequently treasury shares of 5,000 were acquired at 160 per share ayan may treasury shares no Prepare journal entry to record the retirement of the treasury shares, assuming the treasury shares are not reissued. So, bumile, no? Treasury shares, si Sing Hye Jong um, company. Tapos, niretire niya na, no? Meaning, hindi na yun magiging available, no? For issue ones sa mga um, investors or shareholders. Journal entry lang yung kailangan. Okay. So, i-record muna natin no, yung acquisition ng treasury shares. So, debit, um, treasury shares, credit cash. No? Credit cash. Um, kano yun, no? We have um, 160. So, 160 times 5,000. So, 160 times 5,000, 800,000 pesos. 800,000 pesos. Prepare journal entry to record the retirement of the treasury shares. Assuming the treasury shares are not reissued. Okay, so... Again, no, if treasury shares are subsequently retired, the share capital account is debited at par value. So, alam na natin na ang debit natin would be ordinary shares. No? Debit, kasi kakasabi lang dun sa, ano, no, dun sa statement. Debit natin si ordinary shares. Kasi hindi na ito magiging available no? sa mga shareholders. Kinancel na, no? niretired na mismo yung shares. Ordinary shares, yan, no? um, debited at par value. So, the shares of stock, treasury shares, no? 5,000. Times par value, 100. And the treasury shares account is credited at cost. So, ang credit natin would be um, treasury shares, no? What about? 800,000. 
So, 5,000 times 100, that is uh, 500,000. So, ang retirement results in a loss. So, ibig sabihin, no, um, the cost of treasury shares, so what, um, the cost of treasury shares, which is 800,000, exceeds the par value, which is 500,000. Yeah. I hope na susundan pa yung discussion so far, no? Such loss is debited to the following in order of priority. Una, share premium from original issuance. So, ganito, no? Tingnan muna natin kung may given na share premium from original issuance. So, meron, no? Ito. Share premium, ordinary shares. So, debit natin. Dahil may given naman, eh, no? So, pwede nating i-debit. Yan, share premium, ordinary shares. <coughs> At what amount? Cancelled on a pro-rata basis in the absence of specific amount identified with treasury shares. Ngayon, class, no? Ibig sabihin lang, no? Neto, no? Kung identifiable, no, or kung given yung share premium, ordinary shares na pertaining sa treasury shares na yon, eh, yun yung ilalagay nating amount. Ayan, kung available, no, or ay, kung identifiable yung share premium, ordinary shares na pertaining dun sa treasury shares na yon. Now, dahil wala namang given, no, hindi available, ang gagamitin natin, cancelled on a pro rata basis. No? Or cancelled on a pro rata basis. So, paano kaya yun, no? Hindi natin pwedeng i-debit yung entire amount na 200,000 pesos. Kasi nga, pro rata basis ang ating gagawin. So, meaning... 200,000 which is yung share premium tapos um, the total number of shares issued is 50,000 50,000 shares pro rata so meaning pertaining lang dun sa treasury no? so Ang number of treasury shares is 5,000 shares. So, kaya pro rata lang din, no? 5,000 over 50,000 shares, no? Yung portion lang ng share premium, yun yung i-debit natin. Ayan. 200,000 times 5,000 divided by 50,000. So, that is um, 200. Hmm. Ah, sorry. Mali. 20,000 lang pala. Ayan. 20,000. Ayan. So, I hope, no? I hope, class, na uh, nasusundan nyo pa naman so far yung um, discussion, no? So, again, ha? Ang pag-cancel ng share premium from ordinary shares. Kung given, no? Kung available naman yung share premium na pertaining sa treasury shares, na yun, no? Eh, yun yung i-debit natin. Eh, dahil wala, no, pro rata basis ang ating gagawin. So, kakancel natin yung share premium, ordinary shares na pertaining dun sa 5,000 shares na yun. So, ganun siya, no. I hope nasusundan so far, class, no, yung ating discussion. Ayan. So, okay na yung letter A, no. Di pa balansa yung ating entry. Ayan. So, next natin, share premium from treasury shares. Problema, hindi naman siya available dito sa problem, no? Walang given na share premium from treasury shares. So, hindi natin magagawa, no? Yung letter B. Ayan. Magagawa lang natin tong letter B na to kung may given, no? Na share premium from treasury shares. Dahil walang given, eh... Dito yung magagawa, no? Yung letter B. So, yung natirang amount, dun sa kasunod, no? Retained earnings. Ayan. So, yung entire na natitira sa loss, no? Retained earnings, yung 
ating um, pagpapasukan. No? So, we have 800, tapos 500,000. Tapos may 20,000 may, um, 20, dito. No? May 20,000 debit. Therefore, yung balancing figure ng ating journal entry would be um, 280,000 pesos. Ayan. Again, no? Um, di ba? Ang cost ng treasury shares is 800. Tapos, yung ordinary shares is 500. So, meron tayong loss na 300,000. No? Kumbaga, loss, no? In retirement. 800 minus 500 equals 300. Saan siya i-debit? Una, siya share premium from original issue 1. So, 20,000. Yung computation natin kanina. Next, kapag ubus na, no, or kapag um, nailagay na natin yung share premium from original issue 1, may allocate na natin doon. Next natin, share premium from treasury shares. Eh, walang available sa problem. So, hindi natin magagawa, no? Therefore, yung natirang 280,000 would be um, sa retained earnings, yung um, ating debit. So, answer natin for problem, no, journal entry to record the retirement, eh, ito lang, no? Ayan. Yan lang yung ating answer, no? For the, for the problem. Ayan. Class, kung naintindihan nyo naman, no, kung nasundan nyo naman yung discussion, or kung nakatulong naman, no, na-improve yung understanding mo ng retirement of treasury shares, Um, I hope, no, bigyan nyo ito ng like, no, bigyan nyo ng like yung video, subscribe nyo na rin yung channel para sa mga susunod na accounting videos, no. Kasi kapag sinusubscribe nyo kami sa YouTube, eh, mas, kumbaga, mas motivated kami, no, na gumawa pa ng mga libre and accessible beginner's guide accounting tutorial videos. Ayan, so, again, no, ito yung ating final answer. Debit ordinary shares. 500,000, debit share premium, ordinary shares, 20, debit retained earnings, 280,000, credit, treasury shares, 800,000 pesos.